Hey everybody, thank you so so much for tuning in. Today's video is another Dollar Tree gift basket idea video. I am starting all of this super early so that we can have holiday stress out of the way. I highly recommend that you watch part one of this because there is a little bit for everyone in that video. Men, women, kids, everybody has got a gift basket. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoy this video and stick around by subscribing to this channel. Once you hit that subscribe button, we instantly become best friends. Did we just become best friends? Yep! And please go ahead and hit that notification bell so you know every time I post a video. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more gift basket ideas or more Dollar Tree gift ideas in general. And let's go ahead and get started. For my first gift basket, I'm actually going to be using one of the trays that I made using Dollar Tree materials. This can be a gift all on its own, so I'll leave the link in the description if you want to make one for yourself. I found these masks at Dollar Tree, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape them together so they stand nicely on the tray. If you saw my last gift basket video, I used tape and mounting tape to keep things from moving around. And next I'm going to use this Bolero bath salt, which I found at Dollar Tree, and this mitt, which I took out of the package. These candles are actually really, really nice, so I wanted to add it for relaxation. This little shower travel kit was adorable. You can remove the label if you want and make sure that you play around with the placement. Dollar Tree has aromatherapy roll-ons, which I've taped together so that they stand nicely, same as the masks. And then I took another one of their roll-ons and I placed it on the tray to fill up some space. So now I'm just gonna mess around with the placement until I like the way everything looks. I did go ahead and add one of my little plants that I hauled during the summer. Once you're done, you can put them in the clear Dollar Tree gift bags meant for baskets or wrap them in cellophane wrap. I do show you how to do that in my first video, but I'm not wrapping these because they create a weird glare for the camera. For my next tray, I'm going to be using one of these trays from Dollar Tree, and I found this amazing book in the Dollar Tree book section. Not only does it give you drink recipes, but it also gives you the history of certain drinks, and I just think this is really cool on its own. So I went ahead and stood that up on my tray. You can secure it down, and then I found this really cool shaker glass that already brings recipes printed on there. They also had these little wine stoppers. You can take yours out of the package. I left mine in even though I hate the packaging on it. I went ahead and added one of Dollar Tree's martini glasses. You can also add a rocks glass if you want. Just a tip to keep your glasses from moving, you can add some Dollar Tree mounting tape to the bottom. And then in the food section, I found stuffed olives. I really hate the look of the packaging, so I grabbed one of these stickers from Dollar Tree and with some chalk wrote olives. I did leave the nutrition labels on the side. If you wanted to take this gift to the next level, you can go on eBay or Amazon and order a cheap shaker or a bar spoon, and that would make it look so much more authentic. For the next gift idea, I'm gonna use this little basket, which I found in the cleaning section of Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna fill it up with the white shredded paper. I have a lot of it left over from my last gift basket video, so that's why I'm not showing the pack, but they do smell, sell the small packages at Dollar Tree. So I'm also going to cut out a piece of Dollar Tree foam board for the back so that all of my gifts stay upright. And I found these two skate toys in the toy section. These were so popular when I was a teenager. I also found this pool table game. If this gift is for a child, I wouldn't recommend the pool table game, but if it's for a teenager, it's perfect. So now I'm going to place both of my skate toys onto the side. And in order for them to display nicely, I'm gonna add some tape to the backside so that nothing moves around once I actually wrap this around. I'm adding the tape to the back of the package so that you cannot see it. And this is just gonna help it look like a store-bought basket rather than homemade. In the Christmas aisle, they had these stocking stuffers was just this really cool brain teaser. I went ahead and added that to the front of my basket. And then they had this little dice set. In that same section, they had the famous generic Jenga, which I added to my set. And then I topped it off with some goodies like Bunch of Crunch and little chocolate bars to complete my set. And once I was done, bam, I had a really awesome gift. And I think this could be for any age or any gender because it's just a cool little gift set. 
For my next gift, I'm gonna be using the same setup with the foam board, and this is gonna be an art-inspired gift. So I found this sketchbook in the office supply section along with this other sketchbook, which I thought was so cool and looked so authentic. They had these little palettes. I'm sure the quality of this isn't amazing, but to complete a gift set, I think it looks really good. And then the best part were these mini canvases. They come in different sizes. I got two and I just positioned them to where everything looks sort of even. So I also found this in the same section, which is to mix your colors with. I thought that was very cool. Then I just added things like colored pencils. And the best part was when I found these palette knives. They are so cool. Along with these little brushes, like I said, the brushes might not be great quality, but to complete the set, it looks pretty darn good. And you can take them out of the pack if that makes it look a little nicer for you. So once I was done, bam, I had an art inspired basket for any artist in your life. For my next basket, I actually used this bag from Dollar Tree with Paw Patrol and a piece of foam. By the way, I've only used one piece of foam board for all of these gift baskets and the gift baskets in my previous video. So now I'm just going to cut my, down my Paw Patrol bag. And then once everything is removed from the bag, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that onto my piece of foam. You don't have to do any of this, I just really wanted this to look professional. So with my glue stick, you can also use Mod Podge or Crazy Glue, I'm adding that front side of the Paw Patrol bag. And this is gonna be used to hold everything in the basket up. For the basket itself, I'm using this dry erase basket from Dollar Tree in this blue color. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the other side of the bag just the outline of the Paw Patrol, and then I'm going to glue them onto the front so that the basket looks like it was made for the gift. Like I said, you can skip this step if you want. It is totally up to you. I just thought this was a really cool idea if you had a bit of extra time. So I'm just going to press it in, and then I'm gonna fold the bottom instead of cutting it down so that you don't see any blunt lines. I think this looks adorable and after they open their gift, they can put away all their toys in the same basket. So if you know a Paw Patrol fan, this is great. I went ahead and secured the bottom with some extra glue. If you're adding anything like PJs or an outfit to this, you can skip the shred part and just add that to the bottom. But if not, just go ahead and add your decorative shred. I wedged my piece of foam in the back to make sure that all of my other things stand, and then I added all my goodies. I found this puzzle in the book section of Dollar Tree, and as you can see, it's being held up by my foam board. In the bathroom section, they had this body wash and bubble bath. So this gift is gonna have a little bit of everything. In the kitchen section, I found so many goodies, like this water bottle, this little sandwich holder, and this adorable little bowl with a little milk straw. All of it is BPA free and it does come in pink. And then the coolest find were the figurines in the toy section. I couldn't find all of the Paw Patrol, but I think it definitely added to the gift. And once I was done, bam, I had an awesome Paw Patrol themed gift. For my next basket, I'm gonna be using Dollar Tree's floral basket and I spray painted mine blue. I'll leave the name of the spray paint on the screen. And then I'm gonna use this, which I found in the school section of Dollar Tree. This is to cover boards, and I'm actually gonna use it to cover that floral part. I'm gonna use my same glue stick, but again, you can use Mod Podge or whatever glue that you have on hand. And once I've covered everything with glue, I'm just gonna go ahead and press it up, trying to cover as much of the floral part as I possibly can. Now you can do this front and back, that's totally up to you. Once you're done, this is what it should look like. And now it's time to work on the basket. I added my white decorative shred in there. And I've also cut out a small piece of foam to hold everything up. Now in the book section of Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree has a ton of Sesame Street stuff with colors, numbers, alphabets. So it's up to you how many you wanna get. But what I did was I just stood them up directly onto that little foam piece. You can tape them in place, just make sure that you don't tape any of the actual pages, just the backside. 
And I kept playing with the placement and I taped the back together so it doesn't move around when I finally wrapped this with the cellophane wrap. In the school section, I found these flashcards, which are great. They had a ton, but my daughter got to them, so I can only use these two. So I just placed them directly in front of those coloring books. And then I found these figurines in the toys section. Even if you're not buying this for a gift basket, these would make great cake toppers. So I just took them out of the package and added them to my gift basket since I am going to be wrapping this in cellophane afterwards. And when I was done, bam, I had a really cute educational Sesame Street themed basket. I really hope that you enjoyed these Dollar Tree gift basket ideas. I absolutely love making them and don't forget to check out my other gift basket idea video. Let me know in the comments below which one you'll be recreating. And again, thank you so, so much for watching. Till next time.